Hello, my name is Tara Springett. I'm a Buddhist teacher and I am a Kundalini therapist. And today I would like to talk to you about accepting more our vulnerable emotions in the Kundalini process. I myself have been in the Kundalini process for um, nearly 30 years now. Um, I have experienced everything that I talk about in my videos and I've also experienced all those difficult emotions and um, I'm also working with clients and um, the, uh, who suffer from Kundalini syndrome and mostly I'm very successful or together with my clients so that they feel better very quickly. Now um, there are three basic negative emotions one is anxiety, anger and depression and on the positive side we have of course joy, happiness, bliss, love and all these positive uh, emotions. All these emotions uh, become a lot stronger in, in the Kundalini process. The Kundalini, the Kundalini makes everything that is in us more pronounced, stronger, amplified. So our thoughts, our ideas, um, our, what we feel through the senses, you know, the way we hear th things or the, the way we perceive light and everything becomes amplified and uh, it also very much amplifies our emotions and of course that can dif can be very difficult because people have uh, the so-called ego defenses that they used before the Kundalini process to somehow um, negate these negative emotions or suppress them or somehow deal with them so that they're not not get too strong not too bothersome and when the kundalini uh, awakens these ego defenses do not work anymore and we get the full onslaught of our anxieties vulnerabilities um, sadness anger and that can be quite shocking um, because depending how old we are we have certain ideas about ourselves we think we can cope with this that and the other and suddenly we are not coping anymore we have raging emotions and let's say the ego defense that some men have that they say you know real men they don't cry they don't have all these vulnerable emotions uh, suddenly it doesn't work anymore they um, find themselves in really strong vulnerable emotions anxieties they don't like to feel that or other people men and women uh, they believe um, I'm really independent I can do all this by myself and then when the Kundalini comes that doesn't work anymore suddenly there's a neediness there that they never thought they had and with it comes a sense of fear and vulnerability and sadness and uh, it is sometimes can be very difficult to um, to accept that but um, it is important that we embrace our new more emotional selves and that we say to ourselves look all these emotions were in me from when I was a child really and I was just kind of very clever to kind of repress them or ignore them or meditate them away <laughs> stuff like that and rationalize them and s say oh I shouldn't be feeling this way if I'm very spiritual and somehow that worked it doesn't work anymore because these are not genuine ways of dealing with our emotional self there are rationalizations there are ego defenses and um, the good news is that uh, through the Kundalini process we now have the chance and also the challenge to um, deal with our uh, negative emotions um, in a more genuine way and resolve them more properly you know and um, find a way of dissolving anger fear and sadness in a, in a way that is genuine and not in a kind of ego defended way and so this is the, the good news uh, among the little bit of bad news that I've just said and um, 
with time we will be able to kind of um, function much better without our ego defenses and it, so there is life after the turmoil of the Kundalini um, you know I'm <laughs> an example for that and um, when I was younger when I didn't know for many many years when I was younger I didn't know that that I was in the Kundalini process I only noticed that I was kind of strangely different from other people and one thing that I noticed is that somehow I wasn't able to to have these ego defenses that seemed to work for others and it annoyed me and I thought how, how why can't I just say oh I let it go and then I just let it go I couldn't couldn't just do that but uh, because I was challenged to kind of work through my uh, negativities in a more thorough way um, I have also emerged on the other side and um, I'm now in the position among other things to help others you know who, who seek this healing which I'm very glad about and uh, and I and I function quite well without my ego defenses so there there is a possibility with that and uh, and the good news in that is also that if you if you don't need your ego defenses you know it's not like life is not so frightening anymore because criticism for example is not so frightening anymore or if you get ins insulted or not uh, it's not the the big deal that it used to be because you know there's less to defend uh, not that I like to be insulted obviously um, but um, what I want to say is that the ego defenses in themselves they are quite stressful you know because you always have to keep up pretenses in some way and uh, when you are um, through this process then you um, become freer and more liberated and that is a wonderful thing and so that is the, the main uh, message that I want to uh, give in this video that we um, should embrace our more vulnerable, our more emotional self and not think that there's something wrong with that and, uh, and see it as a quite precious opportunity to work through our emotions in a, in a better way than we've done before. Okay, so if you like the video please um, subscribe to my channel, no, the link is there or here you can uh, get the link uh, where you can uh, see my the book that I've written about Kundalini and Kundalini syndrome. That might be quite interesting. Uh, leave me a comment, share the video. I would like it. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.